Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin, founder of Sugar MDs. Now we are going to talk about how to treat hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. In the previous video, we talked about symptoms of hypoglycemia, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to treat hypoglycemia. And we will talk about how not to treat hypoglycemia, <laughs> because that is very important to know. Now, number one, if you feel low blood sugar, you check your blood sugar if you can, and if your blood sugars are low, which is less than 70, right, then um, do something. What is that something? Eat something simple that is high in sugar. You do not want to eat anything that has high fat content. It could be sweet, like chocolate is sweet, right? Peanut butter could be sweet. You can put as much honey into it. But as long as there's fat in something, in any food, you are not going to be able to fix the hypoglycemia very fast. The reason for that is fat slows the absorption of any food. So you have to have orange juice, Coke, anything with sugar in it. Crackers are fine. Honey is good. Candies are fine. Anything that is rapidly absorbed, simple sugar. So most of the time, People sometimes use glucose tablets, sometimes they keep um, some candy in their pocket. They may be able to uh, get their hands on an orange juice, Coke, anything simple. Do not have anything that has protein and fat in order to fix hypoglycemia. So another thing that you may want to do is after checking your blood sugars uh, in a slow and you eat something, you need to check it again. I call that a 20 rule or 15 to 20 rule. So you eat 15 to 20 grams of carbohydrates and then recheck it in 15 to 20 minutes. And then if your blood sugar is 15 to 20 higher than what it was, then you're all good. Common mistake. When you feel low blood sugar, it is a panic reaction and your body is not going to be able to recover from the symptoms immediately after you eat something. So although you have had 20 grams of carbohydrates in your system, you may still feel extremely hungry. You may still have some symptoms, but try to resist the temptation to eat too much because then what happens is your blood sugar is down to 60. Next thing you know, you're 600. So give your body some time to adjust, get the food absorbed, after 15, 20 minutes, if your blood sugars are not higher, then you can have another 15 to 20 grams of carbs. Now this sometimes happens if you are taking insulin and if you have given a really high amount of insulin by mistake or any other reason, then you may not be able to recover from hypoglycemia quickly. But if you keep checking your blood sugar every 15 to 20 minutes and then you keep uh, things together and you're still, your consciousness is okay, you're, you're, you're fairly feeling okay, try to avoid over treating okay so when you have a very severe low blood sugar reaction and you cannot really fix it yourself because you are disabled right what to do with it it's always a good idea to be prepared so there are glucagon medications it comes in an injection form there are some old way of doing this where you have to mix it and give an intramuscular injection. Recently, there has been a ready-to-go uh, injection method that is uh, it just introduced has been introduced to the market. It's called Gvoke, uh, and then uh, most recently also there has been a development with in, uh, the, uh, the nasal glucagon, and that's called Baximi. Uh, so. Uh, no matter what application or medication you have, it is important to have glucagon uh, somewhere and then you should have uh, people who live with you or your relatives to know and be aware where this glucagon is. Because if you are unconscious and the only way sometimes to bring your blood sugars back up could be that glucagon injection or glucagon nasal application that can save your life. Uh, of course, they can always try to put some honey into your mouth, um, but it may not be uh, absorbed appropriately, uh, especially if you're having seizures, uh, God forbid, but it is always a good idea to know um, how to do glucagon injection or the nasal application. 
Uh, now, uh, make sure that uh, when you're at the doctor's visit, uh, ask uh, your doctor about glucagon, especially if you are on insulin or multiple daily injections of insulin. Uh, and again, most importantly, you need to learn how to avoid hypoglycemia. So if you have any questions, call us at SugarMDs. Most importantly, we are going to talk about how to avoid hypoglycemia, right? So it is important to know what to do in an emergency situation, but the most important thing is to avoid that emergency situation. And that's going to be in the next video. So we'll see you in the next one. Give it a thumbs up and check out our website at sugarmds.com. Have a wonderful day.